Muslim in terms the Bible, of, in terms of, the Bible, in terms of, like you Christian, okay, I'm just going to embarrass this guy. Is it wrong to burn a Quran? It's wrong. Have you seen a Muslim burn When Muhammad desecrated the pagan Kaaba, was that right or wrong? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. ISIS did it. ISIS did it. ISIS did it. Muhammad desecrated the Kaaba. So this guy says it's wrong to burn the Quran because that's the religious book of others. But Muhammad, his prophet, desecrated the temples of the pagans. Was Muhammad right to do that? 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 There you go. So, guys, once again, the Muslim condemns his prophet. The Muslim condemns his prophet because he said it's wrong to burn a Quran. But yet his prophet desecrated a pagan temple. And Muslims for 1400 years have desecrated Christian churches. Most recently, they desecrated the church of Hagia Sophia. When ISIS went into churches, they shot icons and burnt Bibles. Oh, but they say ISIS are not Muslims. But what about the Ottoman Turks? Because the Ottoman Turks desecrated churches. And what about the Umayyad Caliphate? They desecrated churches. And what about the Abbasid Caliphate? They desecrated churches. So all of these Islamic empires, he's a racist. I'm a dirty white imperialist. Racist, 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 racist. Ladies and gentlemen, shut this conversation down just a while because it's going to get the crowd to dissipate. All right, all right, fair enough. All right, this debate is now finished. Right, let's go talk somewhere else. This, this way. Yeah, yeah. Where, where are we going? All right. Let's do it here. So ladies and gentlemen, Muslims every day in the park help me to demonstrate that their prophet is not worth following. Because Muslims, like Mr. Brown here, will condemn the burning of, burning of a Quran, yeah. the desecration of a Quran done by our sister Hatun yeah. or by our brother David Wood. Yeah, yeah. He would condemn those things, yeah, wouldn't you, Mr. Brown? You would, wouldn't you? But yet, but yet, yeah. Mr. Brown's prophet, the prophet of Islam, yeah. desecrated a pagan temple. But Muslims don't condemn that. <laughs> so when Muhammad does it to others, yeah. it's the perfect guidance of Allah. But when anyone does it to a Muslim, yeah. it's Islamophobia. Yeah. So, yeah. if it is Islamophobic to burn a Quran, yeah. then that means that Muhammad is guilty of a hate crime because he desecrated a pagan temple. Oh, but wait, it gets worse. Because every Muslim empire for 1400 years has desecrated churches. The Abbasids did it. The Umayyads did it, the, the Ottomans did it. Every Islamic empire for 1400 years has desecrated Christian churches. Why? Because their brilliant example, the Prophet Muhammad, desecrated a pagan temple. So, ladies and gentlemen, I choose not to be a dhimmi. I choose not to live by double standards. If it is okay for Muhammad to desecrate the sacred artifacts of others, it is okay for a Christian to desecrate the Quran. If you don't like it, Muslims, condemn your prophet. If you're not willing to condemn Muhammad, 
don't condemn those that desecrate your Quran, just suck it up and take it, because if Muhammad could do it, so can everyone else. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, let us be clear, what I'm saying doesn't fit well with limp-wristed Christianity. But limp-wristed Christianity is a modern thing. Ancient saints desecrated false temples. Ancient saints were not frightened of doing what I am suggesting. And yet, limp-wristed Christians want to be silent about the desecration of churches and Bibles in the Middle East because it's not politically correct to talk about it as the Archbishop of Canterbury has not talked or condemned the desecration of the Hagia Sophia done by the Turkish government this very year. But if I talk about desecrating a Quran, the limp-wristed brigade of the church will say that you're talking things that cause division and conflict. Well, I'm sorry, but if it's good enough for Muhammad, who you will not condemn, Archbishop of Canterbury, then it's good enough for me, because it was also good enough for the prophets, and it was good enough for the saints and the martyrs. And I follow their example, not Muhammad's. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take Q&A from everybody. So we'll give Mr. Brown the first question, and then other people can also ask questions. He's got his script. He's got his script. He looks like Mr. Bean. Is your God androgynous? Okay. Elohim. So the question is, the question is, does God have a gender? The answer to that question is that God is far above and removed a gen gender. Right, next question. God was above such things. These are of the created order and God is above creation. Right, However, the cultures of the time were patriarchal and so it has been sanctioned to address God in the masculine. And there has been no revelation to address God in the feminine. And so we address God in the masculine. Furthermore, when our Lord entered into creation, he became a man. And so it is proper to address him in the masculine. Next question. From other people. From other people. You got a question? My, my question is, how are you today? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Next question. Yeah, go on. Next question. We'll come to you. What? I asked the question: Is your God androgynous? Yes. And you say uh, you said basically no, right? Allow that. Basically, you said no, right? I said he's above these things. He's created. Okay. That wasn't the full answer, though, was it, Mr. Brown? That was the bit that you wanted, but it wasn't the full answer, was it? He's going to take part of the answer and ignore the rest, but go on. So the word Yahweh, uh, Jehovah, yeah. even Elohim, contains both male and female masculinities, right? I don't believe it does. But, so, let's break it down. Jehovah. So, if you break down Jehovah as Yod or Yah, which means male. Right? Are you asking a question or giving a speech? I'm, I'm a, We're I'm taking questions, question, right? so ask a question. Ask a question, Mr. Rex, you're not taking over, or I'll go to someone else. Ask a question. Heva is female, right? So when you break down Jehovah, it's actually male and female. So in, when he says... Uh, in What's your question, Mr. Brown? Question. My question is that your God is actually androgynous, because it says it in Genesis. Was that a when question says, or a statement? Okay, a statement. okay. so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let us be clear. Never take a linguistic lesson from a Dawah team in the park. They've been caught out numerous times giving out false information about language. All the time. So, any other questions? 
If there are no other questions, I'm going to give a talk, Mr. Brown. I'm going to talk about something because there's something I want to talk about. No, no, we're doing questions. So, are there any other questions? Yeah, what's your question? Muhammad and Jesus is part of our history. Is that a question or a statement? No, it's a question. Okay. How, how do you tell us up after 2,000 years about our history? Brilliant. So the question is, because Muhammad and Jesus are part of Islamic history, how after 2,000 years can we Christians tell Muslims that Jesus is not part of their history? Well, the answer to that is really simple. Jesus was born 600 years before Islam and Christianity has been around for 2,000 years and we Christians have been saying that Jesus is our Messiah for 2,000 years. Muslims have only been saying that Jesus is the Messiah for 1,400 years. But here's the question. Why do Muslims call Jesus the Messiah? Why? What is it about Jesus that makes him the Messiah? What's the answer? Yeah, about about Muhammad, Jesus being the Messiah. You didn't answer my question. Answer my question. Where, yep, did you, go on. where did you get? Where did you get the reading and writing to talk about Jesus? You were not reading and writing in that time. Amen. Perfect. Amen. The Jesus that the Muslims believe in is not the same Jesus that we Christians believe in. All of you Abrahamic faith people who think we all worship the same God, have the same religion. It's not true. Even the Muslims say it. Why do Muslims say that Jesus is the Messiah? Why do Muslims say that Jesus is the Messiah? Answer the question! Answer the question! Answer the question! Answer the question! Okay, if you want to listen to Mr. Brown, you can stand here. If you want to listen to me, JC, we're going to go over there. This is your Jesus. So, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I asked the question, I asked the question, why do Muslims say that Jesus is the Messiah? Now, think about this for a second. What does Messiah mean? It means anointed one. But why is Jesus called the anointed one? Is it because he was a prophet? Well, Muhammad was a prophet, but he's not called the Messiah. David was a prophet, but he's not called the Messiah. Abraham was a prophet, but he's not called the Messiah. So that's not the reason why. That is not the reason why Muslims call Jesus the Messiah. The reason why Jesus call, Muslims call Jesus the Messiah is because Muhammad was stealing titles from, the, from Christians that he didn't understand. He was calling Jesus a Messiah because he wanted to curry favor with the Christians of the seventh century. And so he used a title he didn't understand. However, 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 what does Messiah mean? To get the answer to this question, we have to look at Judaism. Judaism teaches that there is a figure coming in the future. A figure of such cosmological importance that this figure will deliver Israel and will rule the world. He is a cosmological figure. A figure who will be like God on earth. Don't feed the trolls, brother. 
Don't feed the trolls. He's just standing here because no one will listen to him if he stands on his own. So that's why he stands here. Because no one wants to listen to him. So, ladies and gentlemen, Judaism teaches that the Messiah is a cosmological figure who is more than a prophet. Everyone say, more than a prophet. That the Messiah is more than a king. Everyone say, more than a king. That the Messiah is more than a priest. Everyone say, more than a priest. So, the Messiah has to be a prophet, a priest, a king, and God on earth. But the Messiah of Islam, the Messiah of Islam is not a priest, is not a king, is not God. He is just a prophet. And so that means, and that means, ladies and gentlemen, that the Quran is using the term Messiah in error. Everyone say error. The Quran is in error when it says Messiah. Because Muslims don't know why the Quran calls Jesus a Messiah. And we're going to prove it right now. Mr. Brown, well, come here, come here. I'm challenging Mr. Brown to why the Quran calls Jesus the Messiah. That's the debate. You have your debate now, Mr. Brown. You have your crowd, Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. Jesus being on a cross. Do you want to have it? Do you want to hear a debate about the Messiah? We want to debate the Quran's claims. Is Jesus the Messiah? Can we talk about your Is Jesus the Messiah? And how you don't understand your Bible? Answer the question. Is Jesus the Messiah? Okay, Mr. Brown doesn't want to answer the question. Is there any Muslim that wants to answer the question? Is Jesus the Messiah? Yes. Answer the question. Notice. Why are the Muslims shy? Why? Are you a Muslim? I'm Muslim. Brilliant. Let's debate this guy. Stop being rude. Stop being rude. I want to talk to you. Mr. Brown, you're being rude. I want to talk to him. He wants to talk. Do you want to talk to me? Do you want to talk to me? He wants to talk to me. I want to talk to him. Stop being rude. You're being rude. You're being rude. Right. Uncle, Why are you ignoring uncle, me? You know I have you according to Islam, according to Islam, according to Islam, and you're going to have to shout because this man is showing you no manners. No manners. You're being rude to your elder. You're being rude to your elder. Let him speak. Let him speak. Right. So, why is Jesus the Messiah? Yeah, yeah, it's I'm, Arabic I'm, I'm, word. What does he mean? Touch, touch. So apparently, Messiah is an Arabic word. <laughs> it's not a Hebrew word. No, no. He, Messiah is not mentioned in the Torah. Yes, it is. No, no. Do you know what the Dead Sea Scrolls are? They were lies. What are the Dead Sea Scrolls? What are the Dead Sea Scrolls? They were lies. They were. Ladies and gentlemen, do you believe in the Dead Sea Scrolls? The Dead Sea Scrolls were a first century document 700 years before Islam. And it uses the word Messiah. This is what I mean. Never take a linguistic lesson from a Muslim doing dawah in the park because they give out misinformation. You had your chance, you backed out. Are you Muslim? Let me ask you this question. Do you believe that Jesus is the Messiah? Don't listen to this guy, man. Yes. Why? Why does Islam teach? Mr. Brown, you had your chance. You had your chance, Mr. Brown. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
You can have a debate about So, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to hear a debate about the Islamic concept of the Messiah between me and Mr. Brown? Shall we have a time debate? Okay, so the debate is, why do Muslims say that Jesus is the Messiah? Okay, we'll give the first three minutes to the question to Mr. Brown. Let's see if Mr. Brown can stay on topic. Okay, who's betting with me? Mr. Brown changes the topic straight away. Okay, go on, go on. Even myself. Don't want to say Messiah. Let's do, let's do minute for minute. We're doing one minute, one minute, one minute. You don't even understand who you're following. In the Zohar, page 52, page 52, it says, the narratives of the doctrine, this is talking about Christianity, the narratives of the doctrine are his clothes. It's simply the simple look only at the garment. This is upon the narrative of the doctrine. More they know not. The instructed who are the, the learned, however, see not merely the cloak, but what the cloak covers. And this is talking about Christianity. Now, Christianity is just a cloak, and Christians don't look behind it. Or what does it teach behind it? Well, I'll, tell, I'll show you a clear example. Right, if we go to, the, to their version, which is the English translation, in the first book we got to Genesis, it says, in the beginning, God created. This is what they understand. But if you go to the original Hebrew, it says, in wisdom, Elohim created. The word Elohim itself is androgynous. What I was trying to say. Time! Time! Time. 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 Thank you very much. Go. Yep. Did anyone hear anything about the Islamic Messiah? So he's running from the debate. Let's be clear about what the Bible says about the Messiah. The Lord says to my Lord, sit in my hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your fate. The Lord will stretch forth your strong scepter from Zion, saying, rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will volunteer freely in the day of your power. In holy array from the womb of the dawn, your youth are to you as the dew. So, this is a psalm that predates Jesus. Jesus quotes this psalm as referring to himself. The psalm says that the Messiah pre-existed before yes. David. Yes. That means that Jesus was alive before David. So I'll ask Mr. Brown again. Why does the Quran call Jesus the Messiah? You've heard him say many times, from the Bible you read the word Lord, right? And in Hebrew the word Lord is Baal. The word Baal, if you translate it, means Lord. So translate, every time he says Lord there, replace the word with Baal. And who was Baal? Who was the I've got him. of Baal? I've got him. Tell me, tell me. It's Yahweh and Adonai in Psalm 110. Yeah. And who is Yahweh? Not Baal, Blasphemy. not Baal. Who is Yahweh? What do you mean blasphemy? blasphemy. It says in your books. It says in your book, Baal. The word Baal. Are we, are we done? Hosea no, 2.16. Hosea 2.16, he says no, no, no. the word Baal. Tell him when he's it. minutes up. His minutes got to be up, right? Go for it. You know, you take your time, man. Time. time so, did anyone hear anything no. about why Muslims call Jesus the Messiah? No. No. Let's, let's look at the psalm that Jesus quotes to about himself talking about the Messiah. Psalm 110. It says, the Lord will stretch forth your strong scepter from Zion, saying, rule in the midst of your enemies. So Psalm 110 says that the Messiah pre-exists before David and the Messiah is a king. The Quran says that Jesus Christ does not pre-exist before David and is not a king. Jesus Christ rules from Jerusalem. His kingdom went out from Jerusalem and his people, the church, acknowledge him as king even in the midst of their enemies in fulfillment of this prophecy. So I'll ask Mr. Brown again, why does the Quran call Jesus the Messiah?
Let me show you something else. Yeah? This is called a Safar Road. This is the ancient Kabbalistic teachings. Oh. There's three trinities. Of the last one was the age of Pisces. Do you want a debate? Do you want a time debate? Without shouting. Do you want a time debate? I'm offering you a time debate. Right, let's have a time debate. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come in. Get into the ring. So, ladies and gentlemen, because Mr. Brown has refused to engage in the debate, I'm going to have a time debate. Stop making a time up. debate. Enough. One second. Say, We're gonna, I'm offering well, you a time you debate. Listen, listen. Oh, he's just no, going no, 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 to shout. Would you like to have a time debate? Would you like to have a time debate? How many times does it take to learn? Would you like to have a time debate? No, wait, wait, one second. He's going to use you as a so, time he's asking me now. Why, why are you shouting? Who's shouting? You're the one shouting. You're the one shouting. So we're going to do a time debate. The question of the debate is why do Muslims call Listen, Jesus the one Messiah? one thing at a time. You said we're going to do a time debate. Yes. How long? Three minutes each. Three minutes. Is that all? Backwards and forwards. Is backwards and forwards. No, no. It's going to go backwards and forwards. Three minutes for you. Three minutes for me. What's this thing? What so the question is, the question is, the question is, the question is, why do Muslims call Jesus the Messiah? Do you, would you like the first three minutes Listen, or the second? Uh, look, 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 what I'm you're being saying, gentlemanly. you are bringing a piece, a piece of the whole truth, yeah? Talking about just start, Jesus start being his the time. Messiah. Give him his three minutes. Yeah? He's talking about just Jesus being the only Messiah. That is not true and you know this damn well, yeah? There was Messiahs, there was fake Messiahs before, <laughs> even at the time of the prophet. Don't come here with your book yeah, trying to teach people something that only you, you think you know about, yeah? Stop trying to misguide everyone here, yeah, by the truth. You come up to a Shia person, you ask them, yeah, they'll tell you the truth. That's why you don't want to chat to a Shia, right? <laughs> what, do you want me to carry on? Do you want me to carry on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, no, 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 I'll carry on for an hour if you want. I'll carry on for two hours if you want. So I will carry on for three hours if you want. As long as you want. That's all you get. Yeah, listen, I'll talk as much as I want. I've still got time, yeah? Go on, go on, Bob. Go on, Bob. What are you saying about the Messiah now, yeah? Are you done? You're talking about the Messiah. How am I done? How am I done? How am I done? What are you asking me am I done for? What? What, go on, show me the minutes. time again, show me the time again, like I don't know what time it is. Well. Like I don't know what time it is. Uh, go on, tell me again, okay. That's your time. All right, cool, well, I've got one more minute, yeah? yeah? All right, you calm down, minutes. calm, calm. Bob. Bob. You love talking to these guys, yeah? Bob. All the time for Are you listening? Yeah? You want to come here, you want to preach, yeah? You want to talk, yeah? About the Messiah, yeah? You know the truth, right? You know the truth, what happened to the Christians, right? Yeah? Do you know which ones didn't become Muslim, right? You're going on like you don't know. Why are you pretending like you don't know to all your viewers? Bob, yeah? You know the truth. You know the truth. Yeah? Why are you coming here trying to misguide bare people, bro? <laughs> Have I still got time? You're one minute and ten, th uh, 13 seconds yeah. to use it. That book that you're coming with. Yeah? These books that you're coming with. You know the answers to them or not? Yeah? Why are you coming here asking people stuff you already know and not telling them the answer like only you think you know One something? Minute. Yeah? Go and ask someone the truth that always speaks the truth. Yeah? Go to the shitters. They got nothing to lie about. Yeah? How long? 50 seconds. 50 seconds left? Yep. This is blessed. This is blessing. This is blessing. This is blessing. Yeah, guys, guys. I'll, no, no, I'm not saying that again. Can everyone keep their distance? Yeah? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, he said 1,400 years ago, keep a one meter distance between you if you don't want to get ill. You will never get ill, yeah? He said this a long time ago. You can laugh like it's funny, yeah? Because you're stupid to realize, yeah? The only reason some of you laugh at something is because you're too dumb to realize, yeah? And when you do realize, yeah, you laugh again because you fully understood it, yeah? There's only two reasons someone will be laughing, yeah? You want to come here, you want to come here and have a laugh, yeah? You want to come here and talk. Ten seconds. Bob, Bob. Okay. That, wait, wait, wait. You time. Come in here with the mic. Time. Yeah. Uh, sure, uh, you come in here with the time. mic. Time. Yeah, yeah. time. Time. We're just going to do a battery change before I reply. Sure. Giving me enough ammunition. So, ladies and gentlemen, please know that for three minutes I didn't interrupt. I didn't. I didn't interrupt. Look, he's interrupting after five seconds. He's interrupting after five seconds. I'm defending him. Pause my time. 
I'm not even defending. Give him his time. Give him his time. Give him his time. Give him his time. He's insulting me. He's trying to say anything. Hey, who are you talking to, bro? How many times do I have to ask you the same thing? Can you let? Can we do a debate now? Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's start the time again. Right. So, ladies and gentlemen, the question is. Why do Muslims call Jesus the Messiah? I have heard no good reason oh. from Muslims why they call Jesus the Messiah. The Quran calls Jesus the Messiah. Notice he's interrupting. But, ladies and gentlemen, there's no Islamic reason for doing so. Now, the brother made one good point and then rambled for the next two minutes, 30 seconds. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's address the one good point. The one good point was this, there were other messiahs, and he's right. The kings were called messiahs. The kings were called messiahs. The high priests were messiahs, they were anointed. The prophets were anointed. However, however, don't feed the trolls. However, ladies and gentlemen, however, ladies and gentlemen, Judaism speaks of a coming figure of cosmological importance who will be a priest, a prophet, and a king. We Christians Lord, proclaim Lord, Jesus Lord, as priest, Lord, prophet, Lord, and king. Lord, no, Lord, stop the time. Stop the time. Notice the pathetic manners of Muslims who follow a pathetic prophet. Their prophet was pathetic <gasps> and so was prophetic. they behaved hey, hey. pathetically your prophet you said shit. your prophet said that water is never contaminated by anything nothing by your dirtiness it will. and he was talking about a well that had dead dogs in it okay. women's menstrual <laughs> towels <laughs> and urine but Muhammad said, it's not contaminated by anything. <laughs> Muhammad said, Muhammad said, that if flies spread plague, they also have the cure. So if a fly lands in your drink, dunk it in. Because the cure will be on the other wing from the disease. That is the wisdom of Muhammad. Who believes such crap? No, ladies and gentlemen, let's get back to the debate. Thank you. Inter don't interrupt me or I'll just stop my time. You interrupted me. You interrupted. You interrupted. You interrupted. Right, so what are the time? Ready? So, the Jewish scriptures long before Jesus talk about a messiah figure who is pre-existent before David who has equality with Yahweh himself. To the point. When Back Yahweh to the point. says, in interrupting, Back to the point. when Yahweh says, Yahweh says to my Adonai, that's David speaking of two figures, Yahweh and the Adonai. And Yahweh says to the Adonai, sit at my right hand, which means that Yahweh and the Adonai were there at the time of David. But Jesus quotes this psalm of himself, which means that Jesus claims to be before David. This psalm speaks of a king who is reigning. That king was Jesus Christ. I will ask my Muslim interlocutor again. Why does the Quran call Muhammad the... Sorry, why does the Quran call Jesus the Messiah? Because here's what I contend. Muhammad, that obviously fake prophet, tried to curry favor with Christians by calling Jesus the Messiah because he heard Christians calling Jesus the Messiah. But he did it without any knowledge of why the Christians called Jesus the Messiah. We Christians call Jesus the Messiah because of Old Testament prophecies that declare the Messiah priest, prophet, king. Muslims, Muslims have no concept of priesthood. They don't believe Jesus was a king. So why do they call him a Messiah? Because he was a prophet? Well, why don't they call Muhammad the Messiah? 
or David the Messiah or Adam the Messiah or Abraham the Messiah. There's only one prophet in the Quran called Messiah and that's Jesus and it can't be because he was a prophet because there are other prophets in the Quran that are never called Messiahs either. I don't need my time. Let him have his three minutes. So my question is, why do Muslims... Okay, I'll use my time. So when my brother comes in, if I interrupt him, he will complain. But bear in mind, he comes interrupted me. You'll see. Watch. Watch what happens. Now answer the question. Why do Muslims call Jesus the Messiah? Hey, what are you doing? What are you Look at the time! Look what at the are you time! Doing? Look, he's letting him go what are you over the doing? time. Your rules yeah, you just got broken by your own self. Why are you touching? He wants to steal because Mohammed stole. Look, I want to steal, yeah? He needs to go away. He's lost control. He's lost control. He's lost control. He's lost control. He tried to take this brother. Who saw this man try to take his phone? He tried to steal his phone, sir. He tried to take his phone. He tried to grab his phone. All of these people, sir. Can we have him removed? Can we have him removed? to take his phone. They're lying. They're lying. Guys. So. Do you know why? They can't defend their prophet. They can't defend their prophet. He tried to steal his phone. He tried to steal his phone. This guy, he tried to steal his phone. Everybody. He's accusing me, yeah, of doing something wrong. It's on camera. No more talking for a while, Bob. I've got to break this all up now. All right. Because this is going to get us closed down. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell him I've got to take a break. Guys, I've been instructed by the police to stop talking because I'm far too entertaining. So God bless you. You're doing well, Bob. Very good. God bless you. I've got to stop talking because I'm far too entertaining. Hello, Bob. Thank you. <laughs> There's one way of getting out of the argument. Yeah. Uh, hey, wrap up. Why do you have to be talking? I mean, that's what they do. Because, because, because of the crowds. Because of the crowds. It's not because he's doing all yeah. this. Yeah. I, I, I've, got to, I've got to stop talking, guys. I've been asked by the police to stop talking. I'm going to take a break. Just watch Soko Films and you'll hear the wrap up. I'm going to give a wrap up, but I'm going to do it to the camera. So come to Soko Films and you'll see what I have to say. But for now, we have to have a break. Whether you agree with it or not, we are in a pandemic. Whether you agree with the six social distancing, it is there. Don't want to get in a position where we've got close speakers calling it down. All right? We're trying to work with you on this, but you've got to work with, with us as well, okay? Do our best. I am, Thank I am. You. Do our best. Unlike them, we, we do respect all the authority of God.